Hey, what's up my dirty friends? My name is Stephen. Just in case you've not been here before, but most of you will know that I love to share with you my recent escapades, my trips out and my dirty hobbies, either of metal detecting or mudlarking. But this video is about sandbank and riverbank larking where I go out locally rather than on the stinky Thames foreshore. I want to show you what happened on this trip out. And if you stick around until the end, I've got something just for you. I've been getting some messages from some of my new subscribers and viewers saying, what sort of gimbal are you using? I'm not using a gimbal at all. This is the 360 camera. It's got an invisible selfie stick. Yeah, the selfie stick is invisible. It is. All you can see is my hand. You can't see the stick. So as I'm walking through here now, I'm going to a little point just up here, where it's a really lovely sandy shingle beach, just to see if I can access that part I want to get to. All these brambles are usually really, really obstructive, but being the time of year, they're not too bad at the moment. The water's rather high. We've had lots of rain here in Yorkshire, really, recently rather. So it might be a bit too deep where I want to go. And really, you know, I'd like to get my metal detector out on here. This is either the site or very close to a site of an old Roman road and a junction where there used to be a river crossing and the river in the last four or five hundred years got diverted so somewhere here was a river crossing and the old Roman road. Now that would be interesting I don't know who owns the land, but I know somebody does because I've seen bales of hay bailed up on here. Right. That's close to the area where I want to go. It's just round the next bend, but the water is running fast and deep. So I may have a problem. Let's have a quick peek. Yeah, it's deep. And you can see how it cuts under the banks, look. And all the silt gathers. There's eddies here. Slack water. So this will be where the, some of the trout will hang out. No Cassandras this morning. No herons either. Canada geese over there. Loads up. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get over there. I mean, just look how fast that current is. And you can see there, I think you can see through that lens, all the debris is just under the water, which needs to be investigated at some point. And the overhangs, where that water is undercutting. Now then, am I going to make it down there? I think I will. Here we go. Yeah, it's a bit deeper than I would like. So. Ooh. 
Lovely. And it looks like there's been somebody here recently. Footprints. Gonna have a wander. All belong. Nothing special about that one. Uh, no, just some coding on there. Bone. <laughs> I remember last time I found some bones. I ended up finding a skull. Oh, piece of blue. Look at that. That's what I want. Plenty of green. Oh, what's that say? Keithley S. Hoyle Limited. Because of the tight twists and turns in this part of the river, it's got a very destructive force when it's on fast flow. This is nothing like fast flow. Is this Marmite? Bovril, rather? No, I don't think it is. Yeah, that's quite a nice bottle. Uh, looks like a, a salt mill. Mm, perfume, I think. Tiny. damaged as well. Victorian shoe leather.
Now this could be a piece of stem from a clay pipe. Could be. What do you think? Never seen a stem that shape, but it could be if you look at the hole down the middle. Well, that's three of those I've found now in the river. But I have no idea what they are. They're not heavy enough to be lead. They feel like carbon. Oh. There's another one. And I think that might be one. Yep. What on earth are they? Somebody is bound to know. Can you tell me if you do? And there's another one. That's a pretty piece. Rent. Oh, look at this. The Daily Mail, Thursday, November the 19th, 1936. Rent your radio. 1936. Wow. So, let me work this one out. 36. Take away 15, 85 years old. A piece of newspaper that has survived for 85 years. Thursday. Victorian tile. Another piece of blue glass, so there has been some blue glass here, but I think everybody wants to collect it. Another one of those. I do wish I knew what they were. Now is this blue or turquoise? Oh, just look at that blue! Isn't that lovely? Oh, I do wish I could find that in one piece. Whatever it is, it's got some pattern on there as well. You know, I've got to take that little piece. It's such a really pretty blue. Don't you think? Yeah, I'm having that. I know there's nothing to it, but I'm having it.
Oh, the pity is broken. A bone to some of what on earth could that be? I'll leave it on the bank in case somebody wants it. You know, this is not like the Thames embankment where you can just get on your knees and do a, a scrape and expect to find things. Sad, really. And the only coin I've ever found, which was a half penny, I forget them on it, was just over there on that embankment. Another piece of blue glass. This looks like bottle. bottle. Sauce bottle. Something with a screw lid. What's inside there? Something blue? It's a nice bottle. Oh look, there's a few of them here. Are they the same? Yeah, they're the same, look. And another one, which is broken. Jog. I've got limited experience in identifying things like that cream jug and stuff, but they're not too difficult to guess, are they? Now, I don't know what this is, um, modern perhaps, because while it's broken at the top I could always cut it, but I don't think it's worth keeping. Really.
of the things I'm also looking out for is black glass. You don't often find it. And sometimes when you do find it, it's not actually black. That would have been nice to find in one piece. More blue glass. Uh, this looks like it's just been freshly uncovered. Oh, I love that. Look how nice that is. Flower bowl. Another shoe. Looks like a child shoe, that one. Victorian again and there's some stamping underneath not sure what that says I think I'll save those I'll save those. I'll save that beautiful piece. Uh, look what I've just spotted. Victorian stopper from a decanter. Nice. Now I've been walking around for, oh, it must be a good 45 minutes now, not with the camera on all the time. But I'm just seeing loads of the same old. Nothing I particularly want to pick up and collect. But you've got to look so hard because there's so much here. What a shame that's not in one piece. Meat paste again. Pill bottle, possibly. Seen those before. Energy band. Yeah, they had negative ions. I don't know who believed in that rubbish. Probably a road cone, traffic cone. The river here has got quite a lot of these swan mussels, so it shows just how good and clean the river is.
There's a piece of blue glass, look. A bottle top. an unusual shape. Blue, 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 blue. Oh, well it's whole. Yes, it's whole. It's a whole bottle. I uh, don't know what that is. I'm guessing it's Vix. But it's blue and it's in one piece. turned out so warm. This morning was terrible. It's now 14 degrees, really, really sunny. If you want to come out to this spot with me and to another spot just further down, if you let me know, I'll bring you out any time from now onwards. Um, you can't bring a fork with you. I don't want you digging, really. I'm not sure it's permitted or not here, but I don't really want digging. I'd rather just have scraping. Really texture if you like. Good, so thanks for being with me and I'll catch you on another lark. Well the water levels were nice and low there. They weren't the lowest ever, but they had previously been very fierce, rushing through really, really hard and therefore undercutting the banks and washing more stuff out of the sand dune there in the middle of the river. Now the question for you is this. I picked up a piece of glass because it was a really nice colour. But what colour was it? And I'm going to pick somebody at random who's got it right and send them this. Now this is a large scent. It's a Canadian maple leaf large scent and I've wrung it out into a coin ring. I've also powder coated it in a very pale grey on the outside. It'll come nicely polished and I'll send it directly to you at my own cost. So I'll pick someone at random who's got the right answer. Would you like a coin ring? If you want one now, by the way, and you don't want to risk or wait to see if you want this, you can go to my website, which is themanwiththehat.co.uk and see what I've got there from stuff I've found.
Catch you later. Hope you subscribe and I'll see you soon. Stephen digs stuff up and pimps it up so you guys can wear it.